Tutorial 14 3D Model Dimensioning in PDF Files with Adobe Reader In this tutorial we will learn to add dimensions straight into the 3D model embedded in PDF. For your hands-on training we've prepared two files in the tutorial. In 3D PDF Maker open the file Tutorial 14.0 and zoom it properly. Click Add 3D. Select an area as big as it is indicated and press Convert from File to import the file Pump Plant for Dimensioning.pdf from the 3D PDF Maker tutorial. The 3D View dialog opens. Press Confirm and rotate the model. You can note the model already contains some dimension which we will need as a sort of reference. Click on the front view, zoom and pan the model to center the panel of the pressure gauge in the 3D view dialog, as it's indicated, and then click the Save button with the green checkmark icon. The model is being imported in the PDF file with the orientation we have just defined. Double-click the model to open the Edit 3D dialog. In 3D views, for the default view, select CAD optimized lights as the lighting scheme parameter and illustration as the rendering style parameter. Now click the button Show Model Tree in 3D PDF Maker and for the part Dimensions set Solid Outline as rendering style, then click OK to confirm. Click the button Edit with Adobe Reader and confirm the file saving. You can save your file in any folder and with any name. The file is opened in Adobe Reader and it's editable. Expand the model tree as well as the assembly to display all 3D model parts. Rotate and zoom the model as indicated, then it will be easier to add 3D dimensions. The dimensions coming from CAD have nothing to do with the dimensions we are going to insert in Adobe Reader. We provided them only to give you precise and handy references for the dimension you are going to create. So let's hide the part dimensions. Click the button 3D Measurement tool, read carefully 3D Measurement Navigation Tips and confirm with OK. Click the right mouse button. In Define Model Units, select Scale Ratio 1 to 1000 and Set Millimeters, then confirm with OK. Click 3D Measurement Tool and take a look at the toolbar with different snaps and measurement types in the top right hand corner. Enable 3D Snap to Radial Edges, clicking on the icon with a circle. Then snapping to the edges of the pressure gauges, measure the distance between their respective centers. Again, click 3D Measurement tool and enable 3D Snap to Linear Edges. Now measure the width of the panel of the pressure gauges by snapping to their respective edges. Proceeding in the same way, enable 3D Snap to edge endpoints and measure the height of the panel of the pressure gauges. Finally, measure the internal height of the panel, making use of two different snaps. These dimensions belong to the 3D model of the PDF file and have no connection whatsoever with the dimensions created in the CAD software that we use only to assist you in your hands-on training. Hide the part dimensions, make the part pressure gauges panel transparent and rotate the model. You can read the 3D dimensions even when you rotate the model. Save the PDF file in the folder and with the name to your liking and exit Adobe Reader. Go back to 3D PDF Maker and click Open Last Saved File. Double-click the model and in the 3D View tab rename the view in Pressure Gauges Panel 3D Dimensions. 
In 3D PDF Maker, click the button Show Model Tree and change the render mode of the part 3D pipe pressure gauge in solid outline. Let's also change the render mode of the part pressure gauges panel in shaded illustration and adjust transparency setting opacity level to about 40%. After that, press OK to confirm. Now click on Edit with Adobe Reader. The PDF file has been opened in Adobe Reader. Enable the view Pressure Gauges Panel 3D Dimensions and rotate the model, checking the completed work. You may continue your training on the imported model, inserting 3D dimensions for the details already dimensioned in the CAD software.